Man, is that a no frills box? Oh, we see it's from Centec. We see it's made in Italy. And it says stainless interceptor. What is this? What this attachment allows me to do, as the name implies, it allows you to intercept something before it goes into the main hose or main filtration or main plumbing system of the vacuum. And that means this pretty much turns any vacuum into uh, layman's terms, a shop vac. Something you can use for the dirtier jobs that you wouldn't want to put whatever nicer machine through. So let's open it and see what we have. Again, very basic packaging. <laughs> right there. That's it. There's not much to it. Now we've gotten the big stickers off of here. Show you what's in here. So what is in here is basically a monocyclonic design with a float valve, a gasket, and a stainless steel can. So the idea here, if you take a look at that, that this just goes on the top and that you adapt pretty much any vacuum to this. And what's interesting about this is they give you a couple different cups here. So now the fitting that they're using for this has a little bit of a rubber fitting. It's an industrial fitting. I've seen this on IPC machines. I've seen this on numerous machines actually over the years. But the idea is that you plug this into your central vacuum and um, then yeah, you just have this little guy on casters and it's very mobile. Uh, and you go use this for your wet jobs or your dirtier jobs around uh, the house. So let's see how this, uh, how this works. Well, my interceptor didn't come with an additional hose. They can be ordered with hoses and you can buy accessories aftermarket. What mine came with was just this cuff, which you could either screw in the hose or you can wedge a central vacuum hose fitting in, which is fine by me. I mean, I've got plenty of hoses around, but if you were buying this on your own, you probably want to make sure you buy like a six or a 10 foot hose to use with this. Speaking of the hoses you can use with this, there are what are called dual voltage hoses with central vacuums. That means there is high voltage running through it and low voltage. With this, you only want to use a low voltage hose, which will look like this end of this black cuff here. You do not want to use anything that has the high voltage on it. Otherwise, it will take couple weeks to dry the hose out uh, in between uses because you don't want to mix water and electricity. I know that probably seems obvious to a lot of you, but I just want to point that out. If you are using one of these, make sure you pick a low voltage hose. And I'll put a link in the description to some hoses that will work for this for you. All right, now that we've established how to use this, let's give it a try. I've got a blue bucket with two gallons of water in it. Let's see how it goes. So the first thing you want to do is probably pull the adapter off. And again, you can just wedge. It's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease, but you can just wedge a hose in there. And then that's gonna lock. And you're gonna hear this thing, because it has rubber gaskets on it, lock in place. And you'll pull in the little red tab out. Probably a good thing. So next we're just gonna plug this in. So now we've run into a problem, and I wanna show you what that problem is. I'm gonna pull the hose off. One of the things with using this, or if you've used a wet dry shop vac, is you cannot block this with your hand too much or it will trigger the float valve. And I have a particularly powerful unit in my house, so it's probably gonna trigger the float valve more than it should. Let's see uh, what happens now. I wanna also note the casters on this are wonderfully maneuverable. All right, so let's go here. And all 
All right, so that's probably about a gallon. Let's see. And as you can see, the inside of this is dry, and the inside of this hose is completely wet. And what the interceptor has done Put this over here for now. If you can see, the interceptor has dumped the water in here and whatever else was in the hose. Again, the screen is nice and dry and has saved. There's no moisture inside the pipe. I'm feeling around, which is good because that is a high voltage outlet. So yeah, that's how an interceptor works in terms of sucking up water in your central vacuum system. And then when you're done, you just empty it out. Look at that, dry as can be. None of the water got in here. That little interceptor really does its job. So one of the use cases for this is like when a sink backs up, or something overflows. You don't want to use your central vacuum and get your pipes all wet, or if you have something nice like a Mila or a SIBO, something like that, you don't, again, want to get it wet. So having an interceptor can is really handy. So let's see how it does cleaning out the sink. As you can see, made short work of that. Then all the water just kind of ends up in here in the bucket and then you can just dump this bucket out. Another thing about this is all the hoses quick detach so you can just roll this around and roll it to where you need to empty it or if you need to carry it, this is nice and secure. You don't have to worry about spilling it all over your nice floor. Now, when you're done with this, if you've never had a wet vacuum before, and this applies to any wet vacuum and the interceptor is no different, you want to let this thing air out and dry out before you assemble it. Don't store this thing wet for obvious reasons. And this goes with a shop vac, this goes with, you know, carpet extractors, any machine that does wet pickup, you need to let it air out for a while. So if you have a spare bathroom, just throw it in there and let it air out. Well, what are my final thoughts on having an interceptor for my central vacuum after using it and kind of playing around with this for a while? I think this is kind of a must have if you have a central vacuum system and you need to do other things with it. I could see this being real handy if you're cleaning up the car, particularly in winter when things are just really nasty. This is great also for emergencies that happen around the house. And then this is also has just the convenient factor of anytime you need to pick up something you don't want in the central vacuum system. So I think this is something worth purchasing. There's a few different ones of these. This one again is a Centec. Uh, it is made in Italy and it uses a proprietary but still common European fitting. I'm gonna include a link in the description basically to a bunch of these things. Click around, see what works well for you. The thing I'm gonna say, cause Centex not the only one that does this and I ordered this particularly off a dealer's website. I didn't actually order this off Amazon. I wanted to see what it was. I didn't have much of a description to go by so I thought I should order it and see what you get. Yes, it comes with one hose and that adapter. You're gonna to need to get another hose. I will put a link in the description to something that's inexpensive and easy. Having a separate set of tools set for an interceptor makes a lot of sense. And I wish this particular one came with it. If I find one that comes with it again, I'll link that below for you. And that, that's kind of how we support the channel here on performance reviews. You know, I don't take money from manufacturers or anything like that. We just do basic reviews. The other thing that keeps the light on, lights on is our Patreon. And we put exclusive content up there and some early access when we're able to do that. 
for our Patreon supporters. And we, we do produce a vlog for our Patreon supporters that's once a week that doesn't appear on the main channel. So I would encourage you to go check out Patreon uh, if you want to support the channel and you find this content useful. Hey, if you want to talk about other types of vacuum cleaners and other vacuum cleaner stuff, check out our Discord. Link below in the description. It's free to join and you can just chat and share pictures and we do voice chats sometimes as well about vacuum cleaners all day long. So check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, consider hitting that bell notification. That helps the channel out a whole lot. And have yourself a wonderful day.